Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, near the end of last year in 2023, I posted a couple of videos regarding a new video translation feature that uh, Microsoft started testing with a limited subset of users in Edge Canary, which is an early preview version, which um, featured a new translate button that appears when you hover over a video. Now, this is just a screenshot taken from that one of those previous videos and i do apologize if this looks a little bit gritty but nonetheless just to let you know now that although this was kind of being a b tested a good couple of months ago uh, in microsoft edge and is still being tested in edge canary with a limited subset of users at the build 2024 conference that microsoft uh, is holding this week um, they've announced that microsoft edge will now include a real-time video translation so this is now becoming a reality and uh, um, the feature basically according to microsoft will use ar artificial intelligence to process videos to dub and provide subtitles to help you understand obviously the content that you're watching so when you hover over a foreign language uh, video uh, yeah you see this little i don't know if you see that correctly in the video a little translate button you click on that and then you get some translation translation options uh, and languages to translate into. And when I posted this video, there were four languages available, English, French, Spanish, and Russian. But obviously that is all set to change. Now, according to Microsoft, this real-time video dubbing and subtitles will be available on different video sharing platforms like YouTube, Bloomberg, LinkedIn, Reuters, and a whole lot more. And supported languages include Spanish to English and English to German, Hindi, Italian, and Spanish. So obviously, um, this has changed a little bit since um, I posted this video uh, in November last year of 2023 regarding those supported languages. That, that's changed to some extent or the other. And although those are the languages that are currently available, um, Microsoft has mentioned from this announcement that they plan to add support for more languages in future updates. And... Um, not available as yet in stable, but I am sure um, because Microsoft now has officially announced this feature that it should be making its way down to stable shortly. And obviously, when I get info regarding this, I will keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.